uh, first talk about uh, front pages this morning. We all had something to say about this one. West Ham footballer Kurt Zuma has been caught on camera kicking and hitting his pet cat. Uh, we won't show the video. It's far too distressing. That's the front page of The Sun there, which we have pixelated some of those pictures. Uh, the Met Police have said that they are not investigating the incident at this time. Uh, Zuma has apologised, saying that although his two cats are perfectly fine, there are no excuses for his behaviour. Is an apology enough, Colin? I know you were very upset, a big animal lover like all of us on the panel. Um, absolutely When you not. saw that this morning. Absolutely not. Apology's not enough. And why aren't they investigating? It's absolutely disgusting, the whole thing. And I am sick of seeing these sports people, footballers at the moment in particular, um, who are earning more money than most people are ever earning in their life, abusing their power and their privilege in all forms. Um, and this today, honestly, I wanted to cry, actually, when I saw it, and I didn't, I didn't see it till I got to work, obviously. And, um, you know, for me, he should be prosecuted. The cats should be taken away, both cats. He should have to... You know, people are saying, should he be sacked? I'm not sure he'd go that far, but he should be on the bench for a good six months with not paid, and all I mean, that West, money he's lost yeah, should go to a, a cat charity or, a, or an animal charity. Yeah. West Ham, West Ham United have said... Uh, West Ham United unreservedly condemns the actions of our player, Kurt Zuma. We've spoken to Kurt and we'll be dealing with the matter internally, but we would like to make it clear that we in no way condone cruelty towards well, animals. Well, they need to prove that, then. Yeah. Not just, you shouldn't do that, in, you know, when next time is in... The, they need to prove to us that they have done something about it, because if you, you can do that to a defenceless animal, you, you can do that to a child. Do you think they should sack him or fine him or both? I think... You know, if it was me, I'd sack him. I'm, I'm just, just... I can't stand the cruelty of humans anyway, generally, um, to animals. But um, I would definitely, definitely, he would be on the bench for a good six months and all his pay of that six months would go. It is true that... Footballers don't just play football now. They have to be role models Whether they well. like it or not. Yeah, Whether they, they like they it do. or not. And there's just been a really interesting example of fan power in Scotland where a team called Race Rovers signed someone called David Goodwillie, who in 2014 had been found guilty in a civil case and fined £100,000. Now, I don't want to go into uh, the case itself, but people were outraged that this footballer had been signed by their favourite team and the well-known author, Val McDermott, who sponsors the, the team, gives sponsorship money to the team, withdrew her support. The ladies' team broke their ties with the club. There was a huge outcry that how can this man play for our favourite team? Yeah. And anyway, the team have backed down... Uh, the chairman's backed down and David Goodwillie is not going to be playing for Race Rovers. Yeah, well, we spoke to the animal charity um, Peter this morning. Um, they've got a very strong comment at this. By slapping, kicking and hurling objects at his cat in front of an impressionable child... We haven't mentioned that. There was mm. a child um, there at the time. Kurt Zuma has proved himself to be a bully and animal abuser, taking his petty issues out on the most defenceless. He must not only face the court of public opinion, but also be hauled in front of a court of law which you're saying, why is he not being, prosecuted? He not being prosecuted? Because there is the um, animal welfare bill, which was passed yeah. last year, wasn't it? Um, mm. In the meantime, the two cats in his care, they say, need to be removed urgently and rehomed with someone capable of showing them the kindness and empathy that Zuma clearly lacks. Why I have to say, that Brenda, happened? before I ask you, he has said um, that he wants to assure everybody, this is Kurt Zuma, he said, I would like to assure everyone that our two cats are perfectly fine. No. Yeah, you know. I don't know who else lives in that house, who else is caring for the cats. Yeah. But, but Petter believed that, Peter believed that he should, those yeah. cats should those be removed. Those cats should definitely be removed I've, as a cat lover myself. But even if I wasn't a cat lover, you can't get away with doing that. And there has to be some sort of penalty that he faces for yeah. that. And it needs to be a serious one. Well, equally so that people to... don't, don't think that they can do things like that and get away with it. And, and equally to his brother, a... I think it was his brother yeah. that was filming it and laughing while yeah. he was doing it. But he should the, be charged I come Back to what I said before, that footballers are role models. They're fans, they're young kids. Mm. You know, unless that is... A, something happens to punish him yeah. for behaving like that, other kids could think, 
oh, well, he got away with yeah. it. Well, That's they become, it's almost like they become untouchable, don't they? Yes, or they Vast think they are. Vast amounts of money, or they behave as if they are untouchable, and therefore authorities that have the power to do something about that, mm. yeah. in my opinion, need to be seen to do something about yes. that. The club, like you said, I'm not sure, is it a sackable offence? In my eyes, probably yes, because I think, would I want somebody representing my club who could do no. that to a defenceless animal? No. Would I want my son buying his number shirt and mm. applauding him as around a football pitch? No, I no. wouldn't. No. And, it, and it says to me, if you could do that to a defenceless An animal, animal, what else would yeah, you be capable absolutely. of? Yeah. Um, let us know what you think, because um, it is, you know, front page story, so many people talking about that uh, today, so <sighs> we'd love to have your views.